Everyone knows that gold is a great investment option. Anytime the phrase alternative investment is mentioned, the first thought is gold. This is how gold has managed to stay relevant for so many years. However, the few times silver has been promoted, the price seems to increase by a lot. In fact, it occasionally outperforms its warm-toned cousin in the markets. Sometime back in the late 1970s, the Hunts, a pair of billionaire brothers, decided to make their mark by cornering the global supply of silver. With a gutsy move, they drove the prices of silver up from $11 per ounce to $50. A similar example occurred around February 2021, when traders on Reddit's Wall Street Bets forum drove up the prices of silver to an eight-year high. These examples show that there's great value in silver, even though it doesn't get as much media hype as its counterpart. However, how does silver perform when no one is paying attention? Is it still a safe investment? Keep watching to find out. What's the deal with silver? Silver is a cheaper alternative to gold when it comes to investing, and it has its own set of intrinsic qualities that make it a great option for people to use when diversifying. However, like every other investment option, some factors must be considered before you decide to go all in on silver. Like any other natural resource, silver is recognized as a commodity. This means that it's a publicly traded tangible asset, and like most tangible assets, their price often moves in the opposite direction from stocks and bonds. This is why investors often go for commodities like silver on poor stock market days or during periods like economic recessions and political turmoil. One of the best ways to diversify your portfolio is by purchasing silver. Its presence will help to counterbalance your portfolio with paper securities and other equities. Silver can also serve as an inflation hedge. It's a physical asset with intrinsic value, unlike paper currencies. When it comes to long-term value, silver serves well. It's also a great asset to have when interest rates are low and fixed income investments are not earning as well as they ought. There are several ways in which silver acts like gold in terms of investment. Like gold, silver also provides a haven for investors. However, silver provides an additional function as it's also an industrial metal. This additional function also affects the outlook and price performance. Several things can be made from silver. Everything from fancy jewelry to the homely battery requires it. Silver has also found purpose in medical equipment and microcircuits. When it comes to innovation, silver also has a huge role to play in manufacturing and development. Its high rate of conductivity makes it useful in numerous technological applications and the electric automotive industry in general. With the continuous development of the electric automotive industry, it's only expected that the demand for silver is going to increase exponentially. Those who believe in technological advances and see the future in the clean energy movement should hedge their bets by putting their money on silver. There is no risk-free investment, however, and silver, with all its pros, is not without its fair share of risks. The sturdy metal is also sensitive to a recession just like other materials. Since the use of silver is driven by industrial growth, an economic slowdown can grossly affect the price of silver in the markets. Silver is currently on the high right now because it's found a purpose in technology. However, there's always the risk that it could be replaced by another metal. If a cheaper, safer, more easily accessible metal is found, silver could be placed on the back burner. This could gravely affect the price of silver. Furthermore, if the industry itself is no longer relevant, the price of silver can also be greatly affected. An example of this is the decline of photographic film, which used to be a major industry that made use of silver. The decline of this industry translated into reduced prices for silver. But one of the reasons why silver is a safe investment is also why it's a risk, because it's a tangible product. Unlike bonds or stocks, you cannot earn any interest or dividends from it. You can only gain a profit if you sell it during a price rise. One unique point about silver is that it has several viable industries. This also means the price for the commodity can fluctuate wildly.
reasonably. Another key point is that the prices can also vary greatly between what the industrial market says and what the investment market says. This can create a bit of a headache. Say, for instance, an investor decides to jack up the price. This creates an incentive for the industrial sector to recycle silver from jewelry, silverware, and industrial scraps. With the enormous amount of scrap metal available, production of excess silver is inevitable, and the increased supply of silver would then cause the price to drop again. Silver versus gold. It's only natural to compare silver and gold when considering an investment. Both resources share the same tangible asset strengths, and they are both used as a counterweight to stocks and stock markets. As similar as these two metals are, they also have some major differences. One of the main differences between the two metals is cost. Silver is not as costly as gold. In today's world, the price of silver on the financial market does not exceed $50 an ounce. Gold, on the other hand, is trading in the four figures. This makes silver a lot more affordable for those who are not as wealthy but would still like to diversify their portfolios. The thing that makes silver a must-have investment is also the same reason you should pause before purchasing. It's easier to store gold than it is to store silver, because the same size investment affords you more silver than gold. Those silver holdings are going to take up a lot of space and cost you quite a bit in both storage and transport. You also have to deal with the fact that silver tarnishes over time. As mentioned earlier, there are two major forces that attempt to direct the price of silver. This results in a less than stable price. Because silver doesn't have the vast market that gold does, its volatility also increases. You're more likely to find a buyer for your gold than you will a buyer for silver. To invest in silver, you can either make the purchase directly or indirectly. Investors can purchase physical silver in the form of bullion coin bars or junk silver bags. This is the purest form of silver investment. Regardless, this method of silver purchase also comes with its brand of storage-related problems and expenses. The second method is more pragmatic, but it's not as pretty. You can also invest in silver by investing in financial instruments that represent silver. The best option are silver stocks, mutual funds, or EFTs. Silver has maintained a fairly low profile over the years, even though it has a lot to offer in several industries. When it comes to the investment world, gold seems to have taken the spotlight, but those in the know are hedging their bets with its close cousin. Silver is well known as under-owned and undervalued. It also provides investors with more buying opportunities. Before making any final decisions, it's wise to do your own research before deciding if an investor in silver is the best option for you. That said, silver is a great investment opportunity for those experienced in the game who would like to take a little more risk with their portfolio. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, why don't you let us know by clicking on the like button.